welcome aboard let's go over the settings I use or I should say the settings I don't use the top is the 34 the bottom is the 32 and that's how I have it set up right now the 32 mounted port side 34 starboard they're both on zero degree and they're pretty lined up all right it's always a good idea to try to find something to aim at and like I was saying the main thing is not to turn a lot of settings on so let's start with the 34 let's go with setup I'd probably start with installation on this one two foot it's just what I use I probably installed maybe a foot down but I'm just too used to the the two foot install so I just leave it there uh, I do use the AH AHRS forward of course and auto fresh I never touch the focus even shallow water or deep water I just leave it on auto on layout I leave the grid off the scroll history the on-screen controls you need those um, reverse range is always on default compress range so I always leave compress range off all right and on this screen you can see noise rejects always on high I'll show you what happens if you turn it off or low or medium it's always on high on appearance I always use moss color gain always at 80 color limit this one's a weird one because if you go in here and you're at one which is where I keep it and you press down it goes to default and I don't know what default is it doesn't say zero so I leave it at one but I if it said zero I'd leave it there unless I don't know how to get it to zero so I definitely just leave it at one all right on the 32 it's exactly the same settings same thing moss a lot of people do think that uh, the 32 works better on amber, but I don't know, it just doesn't have any kind of pop to it. Same settings though, we're going color limit, can't go any more down so I just go to one. No trails, no bottom fill, layout exactly the same, default, off, off. And I always have the Ghost Reject off and TVG off. So both these are set up exactly the same. The only thing I ever touch is the gain. And on the 34 you can run a little bit more gain. So let's go up to 75. You can still see that stick up pretty good. If you go to 75 on the 32, it kind of blows out the, the further image. And so I, I think the 32 just needs to be about 2% lower at all times. So if that's at 70, 72, 73-ish, we're at 80 feet right now. So we're kind of pushing uh, the limits of both of them. So we're going to work our way into that structure. And this is the... Just the Minn Kota iPilot remote. It's the one with the link, but everybody says, always asks how, how I got this on here or what it is. It's just a phone holder where you put a cell phone in here and clamp it in. But I just put my remote on there and then a little safety just in case. But say I wanted to go up to that, press forward. Every time you press forward, it moves forward five feet. So four presses would be 20 foot forward. And as we get closer to it, we're going to change the range. And when you change the range on here, I'll show you. If I put this one on the 34 also, it changes the range and depth 
on everything that's networked. So even the the 106 on the console is changing ranges right now and changing depth. And then if you go to the back to the 32, same thing. I think this has something to do with the frequencies too. Like if it's I think if you're in a closer range, it's probably using a higher frequency. So that's why it has to change ranges on all the graphs at the same time. All right, there's the structure. And the only thing you need to adjust with these settings is just the gain. If you feel like you're getting blown out, the closer you get or the more shallow, just turn it down. But we'll get even closer. That's how we're looking at. Sorry about that. This is how we're looking at 50 feet out on both. But we're gonna get closer and shallower. So we'll scoot up. See, we probably gotta go left. Maybe five more feet. All right, so now we're at 70 gain, 50 foot out. Targets at about 20 foot out. We're gonna get closer. Almost on it. I think we're only 10 feet, 12 feet out, 12 feet out, so. Let's do the next adjustment. No, maybe 35. See, there's a, a fish out there and they show up just about the same at about 42 feet out. All right, let's get even closer, five foot forward. And 20 foot of water, I'm doing at least, at least 35 feet. And that's proportionate. That's about what it really looks like and what the fish look like. I remember the whole time I'm doing all these ranges up on the console, it's doing the same thing. The only thing it's not changing up there is the gain. The gain's uh, graph dependent. So even if I had both these on the 34 and I cranked up the gain up here, the bottom graph stays at 70. This one goes up to 78. Let's go back to the 32. Same thing, 70 to 77 you can still tell what's going on you might get a little bit more range like that but usually 70 to 75 is good unless you're just casting 80 feet sometimes you got to go up to 78 just to see a splash or see anything on 32 on bottom 34 on top and you can do this too split screen compare them two ways I guess if you're up close and shallow or your crappie fishing, maybe this one would work better, the side by side. And if you're casting, go for the top bottom. This is how it actually looks. Let's get right on top of it. Now you see what it really looks like. That's aiming to the right. And all it is is the angle you're looking at it. That means it just stretches out that way about 12 feet. But this way it's only six or eight foot wide. Remember in the settings, 34 and orientation forward. We're gonna change it to auto. I'm gonna go from forward to auto on the 32 also. And when you do that, it does it for all the graphs. It's kind of a universal setting. And then, we're gonna to come to the sea light pole. This is pretty cool. Say you're sitting on a spot and you want to switch to down mode and you have it in uh, auto. All you do is lean the pole back. Maybe like that far and it automatically senses to change the 32 and 34 into down mode. So that's pretty neat. And in down mode, you really don't need to swing the pole, so it could just stay like that. Oh yeah, you only get a depth adjustment in down mode. But if I go back to forward, just by
getting the pole pretty straight up and down it automatically knows where the bottom is yeah so if you're setting up your system try to find pretty I guess a pretty level bottom so it no so you're it's not jumping from down to forward and you see they both have an excellent picture yeah it looks like 70 70 and 70 just works so 32 and 34 the exact same settings works out we're just gonna try this I never tried it but I really want to see if there's a huge difference between the zero degree mount and the eight degree mount on uh on showing the bottom tracking your bait is a huge difference the zero degree is always going to be better let me pause this bottom screen make sure I'm pretty steady Not right there pause it and then we're going to tilt this pole And it does stretch out the bottom just a little bit. It loses a little bit of the, the detail. Pause it. And that's the image at eight degrees. Zero. And about eight degrees right there. So the bottom definitely looks a little bit more choppy. That's all it looks like it's doing. All right, so now we're out in about 50 foot of water. All right, this is what we're dropping down. It's gonna be a 16th head, about a two inch bait, and pretty small split shot with a invisible swivel right here. The good proportions may be 50 foot deep and 70 foot out. All right, we're going down. All right, so that's about 35 feet right there. Still make it out on the 34. A little bit on the 32, and this is where you just gotta make it a little bit fuzzy. You can still make it out on both. Let's go lower. On the 32, no matter how much I turn up the gain at about 40 or 45 foot deep, I'm barely seeing the jig. All right, moving up to a bigger bait. I think it's a 3.8 and a 3-inch swim bait. And you can see me dropping down. Same thing, it shows up pretty good on the 34, but I, I can still see it on the 32, but it's barely on there. But you can tell where it's at, and that's all that matters. You really don't have to watch it. You just got to know how deep it is and where the fish are. All right, next thing we're going to try is casting. And this is kind of like a little mini A-Rig. I just got this, I haven't even tried it yet, but half ounce right there. So we'll shoot for maybe, maybe 30 feet. That's for the splash downs. Yeah, you can definitely see both of them hit the water 30 feet. All right, let's go a little bit further, maybe. 40 feet or 50 <laughs> that's about 55 you can see it on the 32 maybe a 70 footer okay so that hit right at 70 you can see me coming down right there you can see me coming down right here you can still see it 70 feet out. And that's us coming back in right there and right there. I'm gonna go back to what I normally use the 32 for. And that's perspective mode. And this is a this is really a 34. This came with a 34, the perspective mount. I just put it like that, hit it with a hammer a few times. Where this works really good in about I guess 15 to 30 feet. With that little bend in it, it's about right. I do want to get one of those adjustable mounts one day. But well, here's that AutoZone piece of rubber, and it goes right on there, and it has 
just enough space. Right there are a couple threads. If it ever comes loose, it'll still be hanging on the side of your boat by wires. I'll say try to get it the best you can. It is almost vertical. Close enough. So we're just gonna switch it to perspective. And we're on. On perspective, you can definitely go a little bit crazier with the gain. We'll leave it at 90 feet out, maybe 77 on the gain. And then something else I change. Definitely turn the grid radial on. Cause you'll never know how far you're looking. For this one, I like the lava. Point to one. Just swimming. You see him swimming right there. What is that? 60 feet? Lines up with the 60 foot right here. But we can track him. See, so right there he's out of the beam. He's in the middle. And out of the beam. So we're pretty lined up. I think we missed the whole morning bite. 10.05. Oh yeah, he's still good. I got this guy before I started playing with the settings. I had to get the skunk out the boat. That's what they are. Nice little bass. Oh man, let's see if I can get him with the swim bait. I think we got a hybrid on here. Alright. Man, this is a good one too. Oh man, gotta get the net. That's how you can get a net. All right, so I forgot how to use my net. Oh man.
Got him on the jig. <laughs> Man, I think I tied eight pound line on there too, so I got lucky. Good old jig. Got him. All right, these gotta be 18. I got 18 and a quarter. <laughs> 